uh, for Congressman Jensen. Um, in 1994, voters rejected a Democratic majority that they believed was uh, scandal plagued and out of touch. Um, <laughs> this, given the um, given the Duke Cunningham, Tom Delay, Mark Foley. Uh, why do you think uh, Republicans deserve to remain in the majority? I think Republicans reserve, deserve to remain in, in the majority because we're really right on very key issues. Now, I'm horrified at the behavior of some of my colleagues, but there's some of my Democratic colleagues that haven't received much publicity. The Democratic chairman of the Ethics Committee had to resign because he didn't being investigated for funneling money to, to uh, nonprofits of which he took a cut then. So I'm sorry about that. I'm embarrassed about that. Most big businesses do have some people like that. It's shameful. It's particularly shameful if you're in public service, you should be holding yourself to a higher standard. But look at this issue of taxes. We focused that tax bill so that it forced recovery. I don't walk through a factory here in Danbury or up the valley where I don't see a piece of equipment bought because we gave them $100,000 expensing. And that piece of equipment has made them uh, productive enough so they're taking on new customers or a new customer group and hiring people. You've got to build your own in Connecticut. We're a high cost place to do business. We don't attract businesses from out of state. But if you work hard and you have the right policies, you can grow your own jobs. And that tax bill has grown jobs. I'm the leader of the R&D coalition. That helps a big companies, actually many, many companies right here in Danbury who, who develop new patents regularly to keep at the cutting edge of advancing their product, of advancing the science, of, of assuring the, the security of the jobs they have, expanding their organs, fuel cells. We put a terrific tax incentive in the energy bill. In fact, a third of the energy bill was tax incentives for new forms of energy. A third was kind of conservation oriented, and uh, the other third was oil and gas. But the exciting thing is that the incentives we put in for the fuel cell industry have given a huge boost to that industry that needed to be able to make more product to bring the price of product down. So it was a very good uh, provision, worked out closely with them. I'm proud of it and it helped people right here in Danbury. Chris, your uh, transfer, that question. That was the quickest pivot from ethics to taxes I have ever, ever heard. Um, let's, let's, let's talk about it. And I guess I was hoping that there would be some, some road from here. I mean, uh, we should talk for a moment about how we got to this place where it seems like every day we pick up the paper and there's a new Republican member of Congress uh, going to jail or being indicted. Uh, the fact is, is that I think there's become just a sense of entitlement in Washington. That the Republicans think they're entitled to power and are prepared to do pretty much anything to keep it. And I think the fact that you would hear a defense from Congressman Johnson of lobbyists paid for travel you know, is more evidence to the fact that folks down there just don't get it. They don't get that it doesn't make sense to us back home when we hear about a trip paid for by the Nature Conservancy, $18,000 worth of vacation to Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to those of us back home. We want to hear what you're going to do next. Now I got a few ideas for you, and I've thought about this. Uh, let's get public, let's get private money, uh, lobbyist money, and special interest money out of elections. Let's Woo! take a lesson. From yeah. Let's set up clear walls between lobbyists and legislators. Let's increase the revolving door law. Let's increase uh, disclosure requirements. Uh, and let's put a ban on that type of travel. Uh, here in Connecticut, listen, we had some scandals with uh, uh, some of the people at the top echelons of our government, but we responded. We responded and cleaned up our act. Uh, and I think the fact that this Congress has not looked themselves in the mirror and decided that the sense of entitlement of power uh, is so out of touch with the people of this district and, and actually gone forward with the process of campaign finance reform and ethics reform uh, is uh, probably as clear a sign as you could ever get uh, of why we need to change.